present Coach Chris Holtman. We're going to try something a little different today. Uh, when we take questions, we ask you to pass the microphone. We'll get you up on the board. Coach, if you give us an opening statement, then we'll open it for questions. Well, I, I think, um, you know, first of all, I know Franklin has a really tough one, Coach Graver. I think they have a really young team, a, a team that he's uh, excited about. He mentioned earlier before, before the game as we were talking, he's uh, hoping that to uh, really get them playing well in, in uh, December and January. So I know he's got some young guys, a lot of, a lot of new faces. So uh, I think that our guys, um, you know, we talked before the game about can we put more quality possessions. It's going to be a mantra for us, I think, all year. Can we put more quality possessions together from one game to the next? And it really does come, come down to that for us. And uh, it's a lot of what we talk about, about doing our job on each possession. And obviously, we're very aware of, of I think, because uh, we have a mature group. Uh, these two guys uh, uh, um, to my right and to my left have been through. We know the competition uh, come here uh, on Saturday will, will be much, uh, much different. And uh, it's our job to have a great week of preparation. Questions for Coach or the players? Coach, uh, I don't know how much um, your control this is, but is there more merit in maybe playing what are, what are they called, secret scrimmages against other Division I opponents than a 15-point blowout like this as far as getting your team prepared for the season? You know, I know, Tom, a lot of people do that, and um, I've, I've been at places where that's been done. I, I know we like uh, the opportunity to play in front of our um, from our great fans, and I think there is real merit in uh, playing in front of, of fans. So um, I think that gets some jitters out. You saw a little bit last week, maybe the first four minutes. Um, but uh, you know, I think I, we've always had two exhibitions, and I I don't uh, necessarily see that changing. That who we play uh, in these exhibitions is, uh, could change, and does from year to year. But I doubt that it will change in terms of. To. Is that because of ticket sales, merchandise, concessions, all of that? That's probably a question for uh, someone other than me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to. <clears throat> um, Chris, obviously you, you, you got a chance to play a lot of people, which I'm guessing you all do today. Um, did you see anything from your freshmen that kind of led you to believe that, hey, maybe we are building a little bit of depth? Well, you know, I think, and we've seen it in practice too, Michael, I, I, I don't know that you really know for sure until you kind of get 10, 12 games under your belt. I really believe it takes that where you can really evaluate uh, your team as a whole and certainly the depth that you have. Uh, but as, as we said last week, we need to develop a, a, a bench. And whether that's 8 or 9 or 10, we need to develop the bench and they need to play with confidence and aggressiveness play through some mistakes, both our older guys and our younger guys, we, just, we have some older guys coming off the bench. And uh, part of that is we have to continue to define their roles. But um, there were some good glimpses from some young guys. Obviously, Tyler uh, played for the first time. But uh, I think that's best evaluated once we once we get into, um, you know, Division One competition. But we like, uh, you know, Tyler Wyden got a workout in this morning before I shoot around. And, uh, he may not like this, but that may be something we continue to do because I like his energy. And just uh, talk about what you like about Keelan even beyond today's game. And I'm not understanding that obviously you're not seeing much talk about us, but, uh, but he does seem like a guy that's worked himself in, but he doesn't really get a chance to play. So you're sure. To certainly, certainly. I, I think there's no question. <coughs> uh, Keelan offensively can, can help us for sure. There's no question about it. He shot the ball really, really well um, in practices. As we charted practice, he shot the ball really well. He's aggressive. He can drive it. Um, as with any freshman, his, his defense needs to get better. Um, the details defensively need to get better. But the great thing about Keelan, he's, he's a coachable kid. He wants to be better. He's hungry to be better. And um, I think that's going to serve him well. We'll see Keelan Martin, I think, continue to get better throughout the I really believe that because this approach has been really good. And before I pass it off real quick, Andrew, I know he left briefly, but he came back, so I guess he's okay. Did he take a little bit ahead or something? Yeah, yeah. He, uh, 
he was the first on the floor, which we talked to our guys about being. And uh, sometimes the byproduct of being first on the floor is someone throws himself on your head. And I think it, it was it was kind of a pile up there, and, and he got uh, he got knocked in the head, but he was he was fine. Uh, I think everybody's well aware of the precautions we take and anybody late bangs their head right now. So he's in good shape. And he came back. He's fine. Coach, um, main coming up next weekend, I know I talked to you the other day and you said you focus a lot on, on Butler yourselves the past couple of weeks, but now what do you, what do you know about Maine? They're, are they, I know they lost to Southern Maine in an exhibition, but what do you know about them? Though? Well, I know they, they uh, lost, they, didn't, they weren't playing their, their best player um, in the exhibition, the returning score was out, uh, and then they came back and they won by 40 uh, in another exhibition without him uh, just the other night. And um, we have uh, we've watched them, um, or at least we have, we have begun to prepare for them. Um, as a matter of fact, we have uh, the personnel up right now. So obviously, this is going to continue even in the early parts of the year, be so much about can we continue to improve. But certainly scouting and our awareness of, of, of the opponent is going to pick up this week. And these guys are really smart at picking the stuff up like that. We'll need to have a great week of preparation. Um, they have good size, uh, which you'll see, and good skill, and uh, they have several guys uh, returning. Hey, Chris, this is looking ahead a little bit, but you guys have the victory in the Bahamas or the Thanksgiving weekend. What are you looking for in this first couple of regular season games before you really take that step up? We're not thinking one bit about returning. I think that's not something that uh, a mature team does. So uh, this is really our, our our preparation is about is about Maine right now, and uh, we need to get better in practice tomorrow, and we need to um, have a good workout on Monday, um, and then good preparation Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for Maine. You know, we have opponents coming in here that, that are that are good opponents, and that we need to take each one of them that's in front of us and. You know, I think we've all looked at the schedule. We all know what's coming ahead of us. But it's really important to uh, uh, stay true to the process of, of improving every day. Hey, Kit, this is for Cameron and Alec. Both of you guys, even for an older guy like yourself, in a game like that where it's really, the outcome's not much in doubt for pretty much the game. Is it tough to focus, keep your focus on a game like that? Um, <clears throat> I don't really think it is. I think. Being, us, being older guys, especially me and Barlow, uh, we know the value of these type of games. And so I think what we look for is carried over. Uh, I think it's easy in practice to you know, do all the things that we preach because we're in practice and if it doesn't go right, we're going to stop the drill or stop the flow of the game. But you want to see it carry over into these types of games where maybe the score isn't as close because it's going to translate as the competition gets better. So uh, I think maybe for younger guys it might be, but when you talk about from the top down, we're relaying how important these things are. So I don't think focus is an issue for any of us older guys. Alex? No, uh, I, I agree with everything said. Um, and being a senior, um, I know we have a finite number of games left, so I never get a chance to you know, step on the court, especially playing in front of these fans and with my teammates. You know, never want to take that for granted. So it's, it's not really hard for me or for Cam or something like that that's been here for a while to focus um, because you don't have to pass it all the way over here. Um, Cam, it seems like through the first two exhibition games uh, that a lot of your buckets have been right around the basket, a lot of your shots have been right around the basket. Um, is that something you really focused on this offseason in terms of developing your game uh, with the back to the basket? Well, yeah, I think uh, these first couple of games have been a good measure for where a lot of my opportunities are going to come. Uh, when you get a guy like Rose in there who can get in the paint and draw so many defenders uh, playing inside, there's going to be a lot of space. And so I think I've just really tried to play off these other guys. Um, you know, I've definitely worked on back to the basket, some other things like that, changing positions, going back to the four. But um, I think my role out there on that end is just to play off other guys. We have so many good scorers out there, people who can hit shots, who can beat their man off the dribble. That I just, if I play out of space, I'll have opportunities. Going back to coach, um, you guys have had a few weeks of official practices now. You've had two exhibition games to kind of see what the team looks like together. What would you say the biggest thing you need to work on for the regular season games right now? 
Well, I think com <clears throat> coming out of today, we, we need to take care of the ball better. Um, and a lot of that was some illegal screening that we didn't get called for in the first game. And uh, we, need to, we need to make some adjustment there. And that's, that's more on, on myself. We need to make sure we clean that up. Um, you know, we're on our guys about screening. And uh, so we just we need, to, we need to clean that up. But, uh, you know, we were, again, I don't know that we had one or, one or two in the first exhibition. But certainly today, that was, so we just were a little bit loose with the ball at times offensively. You know, I think our uh, defensively, I, I think our guys understand as we talked that uh, that we have a, we have a lot to prove, and um, we are we are well aware of, of um, kind of defensively and offensively some some real improvements that, that need to continue to be made, and uh, you know I'm fortunate because I know Alex and Cam really believe that they know we have to be better defensively, we have to be better. Uh, uh, in terms of our defensive rebounding. So things we talked about need to continue we need to continue to grow. But out of today's game, I think taking care of the ball and screening we need to improve on those. Anything else for coaches, players? Thank you guys. Yep. All right. Thanks guys.